Hi, hi, hi. So, I uh, made several foils. I installed them. Oh. I installed them, I listened to them, made new foils, make new foils again, listen to them. <clears throat> and there's uh, a dict around with where to put this loudspeaker, etc. Didn't show yet as a complete. I can show you right now. Well, complete, that's the thing. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not digging it. So, wait. It looks quite okay. That's not the problem. Uh, oh. Combining it with the loudspeaker uh, is harder if they have separate feet of some, of course, because the membrane will be further away than normal. I tried putting this one in front of it, sort of, and then time align it. That worked to some extent, but I run into troubles with my room being too small. Sometimes it sounds good. If I move a little bit backwards near the wall, then it sounds completely weird. Uh, I still have trouble with, in some cases, either the ribbon touches the MEF or the magnets. Uh, I replaced all foamy bits on the wooden part with a slightly less high foamy so it at least it's not pushing it in inside the magnet structure and now I end up with some trouble the, in the other direction I don't know it fucking sucks this shit with rubber or with the foam bit not completely sure yet why I once made a straight st uh, Stratec speaker, kind of the same way. I use 5mm foam, but much wider than these tiny strips. I might need to try that. Well, it's not going to work for this build anymore, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I have it working without any uh, things vibrating. Why is my, my light is tripping? Also, half of the light uh, lamps are... Oh. Okay. Here, I fixed it. Um, <laughs> what was that? Uh, yeah, so I made different foils because also uh, the Captain one... The responses are... If I measure it, it's it's not it's not at all what I... Uh, I, th I thought I'd make a long one, then everything will be better. Now, I know that when you make it longer, the low end does add up and the top end, not so much. Uh, I tried it with Mylar and 14 micron aluminium foil. I tried it with 30 micron aluminium foil because it's very uh, nice to work with. You can get a rather flattish, but of course, even less high top end. So this is the Mylar with 14 micron spray adhesive version this way is 3 2.7 grams this one weighs 3.1 grams this is Kapton with the same aluminium so now you know Kapton is slightly more heavier in this case but then I made some with the uh, 30 micron they look pretty nice, but yeah, uh, even less top end. So what I'm gonna try now, or maybe not now, but maybe tomorrow. I already made four coils today, replaced them all, uh, changed up some of the foam. It's not worth filming because it's now it's me just dicking around and doing things over and over and over until I'm happy. Or until I'm still not happy, but it's the best I can do. So I have a 7.5 micron mylar here and I think I'll combine it with 7 micron aluminium foil. So this should lower the weight quite a bit. I'm not sure yet how much extra distortion I get in the low because usually a thin foil has less damping. 
but uh, it has hopefully better top end extension because I'm I'm missing something at the the sort of crisp that I really enjoyed on another pair of speakers I didn't get it it was like hmm, I don't know something is missing or not correct and I'm not sure what so I'll try that hopefully it weighs less than the Marla and aluminium well it should I mean the, the aluminium is half the thickness and the Mylar is half the thickness so it will not weigh half the weight because the glue is also uh, a huge amount of the weight and this one needs glue as well um, and maybe I'll add like studs to give it a little bit more holding uh, method of holding corrugation this makes that at some parts the weight is slightly higher than other parts I, tr I, had, I have this done with another speaker once and that worked quite well now another thing is I have like a, a dip at like 6k or something 6.2 I don't know which might be this slot although I tried rounding it off it might not be enough that might be the trouble when I think of it behind this piece the foam is here next time if I make something like this I'll expose the whole ribbon even the part that's not playing up till the foam so it looks like a really wide ribbon then but there is no pieces of wood and corners nearby the part that actually plays also might look better and I might even get away with not even rounding off don't think that's gonna be the case but so yeah very nice round off thingy and it gives me a dip at 6.2 kilohertz uh, if you do a 344 divided by 6.2 you will end up with 5 point something divide that by 2 and you got 2.8 centimeters which is exactly this width uh, here I must add not here anyhow uh, I'm not sure of course uh, proves in the potting if that's the case but it's a very coincidentally if it's not the problem that uh, is giving me this uh, dip and of course this, these are sharp edges so uh, that does stuff as well uh, but the 6.2 K thing I even measure up here so it is something to ha uh, to do with either this wood or the metal behind it but something that is consistent in the frame and since I'm measuring this dip so close it cannot be the baffle diffraction because so I guess it's a weekend so I'll grab a beer and, and a smoke and then uh, get some energy and maybe I cut the new foils for one panel and then I'll replace that foil and I'll measure again and if it's nice I'll replace them all tomorrow Ooh, so much work so much coils see ya